Matthew 28, 16 through, 16 through 20. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. When my family and I were living in Ecuador, my mom got in a taxi cab to travel the mile home. As soon as she got into the taxi cab, she had this overwhelming feeling of nausea. She had this feeling the whole way home, and even as she got home, and like she barely, she barely made it into her bed. Um, and so she sent me, because I was like a little girl back then, so she sent me to our neighbor's house. And um, I went over there, and our neighbor, Sarita, she, she came back up to see what was wrong with my mom. And she realized that um, there was something more than just physical going on. She realized that there was something spiritual going on. So um, she was a believer, and so were her parents. So they came, and they prayed for her. And within an hour, she, w she felt totally fine. Um, the evil that my mom encountered in the taxi cab was powerful, but God was more powerful than that because God is omnipotent. God is all-powerful. In this passage, Jesus reminds us of his power. The fact that he was in the presence of his disciples, even though he had just died, shows how powerful he is. He has power over death. He has power over spirits. He has power over everything. And we are his servants. We are servants of the God who has power over death, over spirits, and over everything. And as his servants, God wants and directs us to carry out his commission for us. He wants us to make disciples of all peoples, of all nations. I go, um, so the idea that, with the idea that God is all-powerful, we have a duty to carry out our commission. Um, and he gives us commissions right now. He gives us local commissions. They're not always global commissions. Um, we don't have to wait for a short-term mission trip to come along to feel like we're um, carrying out our commissions. We can do it right here in Atlanta. I go to Decatur High School, and there's a really diverse student body at that school, and that gives me lots and lots of opportunities to love these different types of people. Um, and so, but, and sometimes it's hard to love these different types of people types of people, but God calls us to make disciples of all nations. Not one, but all. And that means everyone. So we must remember that although it's difficult at times, the omnipotent God or all-powerful God is behind us and will help us carry out our local commissions. God wants us to carry out our commission right here in Atlanta. God also gives us global commissions. God has given me a heart for different cultures and I think that is part of the commission he has carved out for me. I know there are some people who um, hear God talk to them directly. It's as if they say, it's as if God says, Mary, go to Timbuktu, and Mary goes to Timbuktu. But unfortunately, that's not what God does with me, or so far at least. Um, he has given me a heart for different cultures, but he hasn't told me um, I want you to go to a specific country or a specific place or specific people. I find myself wondering all the time, what does God want me to do? I, it's hard to figure out what he wants me to do. I wish that if, I wish he would just tell me and if I knew, I would go do it. Um, I'd like to think that if he told me to go somewhere like Iraq, I would go, despite the fact that it's not necessarily a safe place to be. Instead, I've had to pay close attention to the calling God has for my life. Next year, I plan on taking a gap year, and um, I've been praying and thinking a lot about what I should do next year. And I think God placed it on my heart to participate in a discipleship training school with Youth with a Mission. And, but there are tons of these programs all over the world, so I had to narrow it down. So I did a lot of research. My dad did a lot of research, actually. And... Um, I got suggestions from like my grandma and stuff like that, and uh, and I figured out what programs had exposure to uh, the interests or what I'm interested in, 
and um, I decided on a, to apply to a DTS in Baden Bang, Cambodia. And um, I still have to apply, so if I don't get in, then God has better plans for me. But um, I haven't heard in an audible voice that, yes, that's where God wants me to go, but he's given me a piece about this decision, and he's opened doors so that I could apply to this program. So God wants us to do the commission he has carved out for us. Um, after all, he has power over everything, even the making of his disciples right here in Atlanta and all over the world. Thank you.